Hey, what's up guys? This is Rafa with Rafa Racing again here. Uh, we are actually in Dripping Springs, Texas, just outside of Austin, about 45 minutes. We did decide to come out here, rent a house uh, that fits something like 26 people. So we have my whole family and I want to take just the time an opportunity to kind of give you guys uh, a whole walk around around the 600 LT. You guys have seen it on the track and, and the people that follow us uh, really know the car uh, from just all the different stats and the different things that we've done with it on the track. But when I look at this car, it was my first supercar. And I don't know if it's just a sentimental thing uh, or just the overall look and the overall package. Um, some of the cars that I have will be great daily drivers, but aren't great track cars. Some of them um, are amazing track cars, but wouldn't make a really good daily driver. This is almost like that perfect balance of being a mean track car, but a car that you can really, really drive every day. It's super comfortable. It's got all the storage, the look. Uh, from a fuel efficiency, it's just a normal V8. This is a stripe that I added. It kind of matches the uh, carbon of the, of the uh, roof scoop. The roof scoop alone is my favorite roof scoop that I think I've seen on the car. It is massive. What I love about it is actually functional. Some roof scoops that other cars or other people put aftermarket uh, scoops, they're actually just aesthetically glued on there. The airflow actually goes in and it goes into the engine bay. So when you're driving a car, you can actually hear this air echoing through the cabin. Everything on the car is pretty much stock. Um, I did change the seats so I can show you guys the inside of the car. I did change the seats from the comfort seats, the electronic seats that it came with, to the P1s, and actually my phone is in there, um, to the P1 seats. The reason I did that is one, they're a lot more comfortable for racing because they hold you in, um, so your hips are sort of touching the seat, you're not sliding around, but also it enabled me to add a harness bar, and the uh, and that's the OEM harness that comes with McLaren's. I was able to buy it in the aftermarket. The car itself is just absolutely stunning from the inside. Real simple with Alcantara everywhere. My next favorite thing, I guess my second absolute favorite thing on the car is the top mounted exhaust. So outside of the roof scoop, the top mounted exhaust, the sound of it, the pops that it creates, and just the aesthetics, like what it gives it to the car just makes it look incredible. Fixed spoiler, which is actually pretty cool because it has the uh, anti, I guess, heat or burning surface in the middle so that the, uh, Top mounted exhaust doesn't burn through it. Uh, one of the things too people ask me about all the time is Drogon. I was trying to get a license plate that had an O, G-O-N at the end, and I couldn't do it. So from time to time I have to explain it. I think it's a little self-explanatory if you know what it is, uh, but it is the uh, the oldest dragon from Game of Thrones. And uh, the car just reminds me of that spits fire when you, know, when, when you rev it up. And uh, just with the big wings and, and just the overall look of it, it kind of reminded me of a dragon. So. I uh, really love the car and I'm still really happy with it and I intend to essentially keep it till he dies. Now that I have accumulated or I've collected quite a bit of cars, some pretty crazy cars, every time I look at this car is just a sentimental thing, the look of it, the fact that I've driven it so much. I know this car the best. Um, in the last year or so, I've put about 8,000 miles on the track. So it's gone, it's gone, you know, a lot of tracks, a lot of different, uh, different track days that we've done with it. And anytime I drive it, it just feels so natural to my feel, to my comfort. The car itself is just incredible. And obviously the horsepower and, and the um, the uh, handling on it, on the track is just, it's amazing. I still think that, you know, out of, out of all the cars, if I had to choose one outside of performance and price, I'd probably have a really hard time not picking this one as my favorite. So uh, I was in the market, I'd been in the market for a while for uh, a supercar and I really didn't know what to get. I was toying around with, Hurricanes with AMGs, which I had some, you know, some AMGs in the past. Um, I was considering whether it be a Viper or a Corvette. It wasn't really a thing that I wanted to do. Then I even looked at the uh, four GTs, and I just couldn't really get myself to at the time buy a 15-year-old car over a McLaren or something like a Porsche or something. So, it took me a while to decide what I wanted, and when I finally zeroed in. I decided that I wanted a 600 LT with a roof scoop. Watched a lot of videos on YouTube, on, uh, online, uh, all the different photos and really learned about the car and I decided that that's the car that I wanted. Well, I started looking for it for a few months. The roof scoops are super rare, hard to find and the markups on them were really high above the other one. So it took me a while to find sort of the car that I wanted. When I actually saw the car listed, it was actually right at the bottom of the market. So 
it was post COVID shutdowns were already starting and the Dow had just hit like 18,000. It was down like 30% that day or something. It was just something insane. The market was all crashing. And I think opportunistically, I happened to be looking for a car when the market was crashing. I was in a financial position that I could, you know, that I could afford and didn't have any issues. So I did actually pick up the car at the bottom of the market. And now the car is actually worth more than what I paid for two, over two years ago. And I've put, you know, eight, 9,000 miles in it. I'll start off the car just so you guys get to hear it. It sounds very different than all the other McLarens that I have. Any one that I actually have heard actually. So the exhaust has a lot more pops and just, it just sounds completely different being in that top mount position. Let me uh, turn this guy on and see what you guys think. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Again, this is uh, my 600 OT, one of my favorite cars really of all time. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the description on the car, some of the history behind it, and uh, just overall getting a little bit more intimate with the car itself, because uh, we've had a lot of track stuff, but not a whole lot of uh, kind of car footage of it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any comments, any questions, please, uh, please give us a feedback, hit that subscribe button and the notifications on. Thank you for watching.